is out of the game, the starting left guard. Terry Kelly, the sophomore, who's a backup left tackle, is working tonight at guard. And this offensive line is coming off a year where they had to replace a lot of starters. And they had a lot of injuries and a bunch of different combinations. They felt better about them this year. They are not off to a good start in a new season up front. 11th penalty for Forest State. First and 25. It's a high throw. Catch made and knocked out of bounds is Rudolph. I, I, I like getting a quarterback who's playing, making his first start down 22 with plenty of time left. I mean, you get the ball back and just get it out of his hands. They're going to give you soft coverage. They're going to give you the underneath rounds. Get the ball out of his hands. And this same Sean McGuire, we talked about it earlier. You wonder at some point because of the experience and his ability to throw the ball if they would go to him in the second half. Fisher said he would certainly not have a quick hook with Francois. Second and 16. Wide open. Wow, he was wide open. Wilson makes a catch and scampers out of the 40, and it's Olmitz's secondary that makes a mistake. And with Kent Webster out, the guy they're going to continue to go after is number one, Tony Bridges. Watch this. Watch him break and turn to the post, and he doesn't even see both of the wheels and breaks to the outside. But if you're going to leave these Florida State receivers one on one against number one without a safety behind him, they're going to attack him, and now he comes off the field. And Carlos Davis will come in for him. You know, Lynn Sauce there, grabbing at that hamstring. A minute and a half to go, and almost have a timeout. Could have got a free play right there. Get back off. Again, hook underneath. Not escape. Stop short of the first end by Carlos Davis. You, you hit a couple plays downfield, and it makes the Ole Miss defense change. They they got two safeties deep, and it opens up the underneath throws. And again, you're giving it to a trained athlete in space. But you're signaling for tempo here. Francois from the pocket batted down. He was knocked down after the throw. Again, pressure by the men up front. Well, Fidel Brown has made the start, but John Youngblood was wearing Chucky Mullins' number from the left. Watch the power. He just pushes the left tackle, Johnson, right he into did. the quarterback. Got the Chucky Mullins at work. Just he's an all-round model student athlete. Does stuff in the community. He's given that honor as one player is on the team every year. In the yard on third down, Kirk. Hook to the left of the quarterback. Allen's got it, and he's got a first down and more. Stumbling, looked like he had an open field as out of the 15. Great job that time by the offensive line. Ole Miss brought the blitz. Good job by Wilson Bell, but he actually follows Kelly 74 around and almost hit that for a touchdown. But it was a blitz. The line that time ready for him, picked up the blitzes to give the talented running back Cook a chance. This is the most productive running play tonight. Got 15 yards, 45 to go in the half, and a whistle. Timeout taken by Ole Miss, and a regroup on defense. All right, Kirk, the Knowles back in the red zone. Field goal, I know it's only the first half, doesn't help a whole lot. Uh, we talked all night about the importance of, of the red zone. College football coaches would tell you today, the spread era, the, the, the big things are that you look for winning a game or losing a game, converting on third down, and red zone success.